I'll show you how to use the HSL adjustment, which gives you some very versatile control over color intensity and brightness. I can add the adjustment by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, HSL. This adjustment lets us operate on pixel values by manipulating these three parameters of the HSL color model separately. For example, increasing the saturation slider allows me to intensify all of the color detail in the image simultaneously. Reducing it to a negative percentage allows me to desaturate and remove color intensity. I can double click the slider handle to reset it to its default position. With this image, I may make use of the ability to target specific color ranges. So here, I can target reds. Now notice when I move the saturation slider that the blue sky remains unaffected. Increasing the luminosity shift slider allows me to control the contribution of white into the color mix. As I increase luminosity, the color detail gradually becomes less intense, which is because of the way luminosity interacts with saturation as per this color model. I can increase the saturation further to counteract this loss of color intensity. Then I could switch across to the blues and reduce the saturation and luminosity shift sliders. Within the context of this image, reducing the blue saturation and luminosity promotes focus on the foreground rather than the sky. I do have some lens flares here, however, which still have some light blue color. I can use the nodes on the HSL wheel here to increase the range of color tones that are being targeted. Hiding and then showing the adjustment layer on the layers panel allows us to see the before and the after. You will notice there is an HSV checkbox on the dialog. This changes the color model being used to hue saturation value. I will demonstrate the usefulness of this on another image. So with this image, I will once again add an HSL adjustment, but this time I'll use the keyboard shortcut. So that's Command U on Mac, Control U on Windows. I'll target the yellows, then increase the saturation. Now notice as I do this, we are not just increasing the color intensity, but also the perceptual brightness of these color tones. And in the case of the HSL model, this shift in brightness is quite extreme. If I switch over to the HSV color model here, this saturates color detail without the same dramatic increase in brightness. This is because the relationship between saturation and value is different compared to saturation and luminosity. Now, if I reduce the saturation using HSL, you can see these tones become darker. Switching back to HSV desaturates the tones, but the perceptual brightness actually increases as we decrease the color intensity. Notice that the color wheel reflects changes in the parameters. Switching to HSL and back again to HSV can help illustrate how saturation is interacting with both luminosity and value. If I reset the saturation, then switch back to HSL and increase the luminosity shift slider, the color tones become lighter and less intense. Switching to HSV maintains the color intensity as well as increasing brightness. If I then reduce luminosity shift to a negative value, we can see that the HSV model will darken these tones, but somewhat maintain the color intensity. The HSL model, however, will further decrease color intensity compared to HSV. Neither model is particularly sufficient to accurately represent human visual perception, but it helps to understand the practical differences between the two models so we can use them more effectively. Let's look at a final example where we can use the hue shift slider. Once again, using the shortcut Command U on Mac, Control U on Windows, I'll add an HSL adjustment. And before we start manipulating the parameters, just be aware that the adjustment color range will be set to the previous value if you have already used an HSL adjustment during the same editing session. So I'll just set it back to all colors. Then I can use the hue shift slider to change all of the color tones in the image, which can lead to some interesting creative effects. I'll double click this to reset it, 
and then I can of course combine hue shift with a more specific color target, like magenta. So I'll just move the hue shift slider here, and I'll also zoom into the magenta detail, so I can see the changes I am making more clearly. I can also experiment with luminosity and saturation shift. Now, toggling to the HSV color model allows me to maintain more intense colors at the same time as increasing their brightness. I'll switch across to yellows and modify hue shift. Then I'll also increase the saturation. Now, because I'm still using the HSV color model, this allows me to create some quite intense red tones without brightening them too much. I can quickly toggle back to HSL to see what my changes would look like with that color model. I quite like the increased brightness of the red tones here. Now, I cannot mix and match HSV and HSL models, but what I can do is create a second HSL adjustment. So I will reset the sliders for the yellow tones and leave this adjustment on the HSV color model. Then I'll add another HSL adjustment. On this dialog, I'll hue shift the yellows once again and also increase the saturation. Finally, as with all adjustments, don't forget that you can experiment with blending options as well. I'll try setting the top HSL layers blend mode to hard light, which produces quite a strong effect, so I'll reduce the opacity to round about 70%, just to control its strength. And there we go, that was a look at the HSL shift adjustment and its settings. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.